So what's in my compost? You know what that is? That's an avocado pit. I don't have the computer on right now, so I don't remember the names, but I've had some people ask me how long it takes for the compost to break down that I make. Let me step back a little bit. Today I'm working in the garden. I have no electricity. They shut the power off for the whole day, which is good. It gives me an opportunity to do nothing but gardening. And so today I came out here because I wanted to start dumping in place more of my kitchen scraps and leaves and stuff. But the soil was so nice in here. And let me slowly pan over. I am putting together a tower. And, you know, I've moved my tower from the other side of the yard to here. And I'm starting to put strawberries in there. And, well, mint grew in there, but I left it in there right now. So I started moving some of the soil, the compost from here. And that I remembered the question. So I ran in to get my camera to share this with you. Last year, this is one of those dog containers that one of the pet stores threw away. Um, last year, I set up, like I do, compost in place. Yeah, I've got them all over. And I set it up by throwing kitchen scraps, leaves from the garden, you know, everything in here, and then topped it with wood chips. And I grew, I think celery grew in here, and zucchini grew in here, and a few different things grew in here. Well, I cleaned it up and I decided I wanted to start the, not start the container over, but the soil was so nice, I wanted to move it into my tower. And I'm gonna get some more strawberry plants to plant in there and, oh, maybe some herbs, I'm not sure yet. But I wanted to show you here, since I've had questions, that it's all gone. Everything that was in here is all gone. Let me see if I, see, I mean, I found a couple avocado pits because they did not break down. It almost looks good enough that it still might grow if it finds a way, but it's all gone. See, there's another avocado pit. So it would take about a year to grow to break down like this. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. I mean, other people have asked me, can you move it? What do you do? Do you layer it over? Yes, you can move it. Like now, I've decided this soil is so good that I'm going to use it because I know it's not even dirt. I mean, there's a few rocks in there, I think. No, it's just soil. Sometimes I throw a little bit of native soil in when I'm working on my bins. Um, no, it's great. Use it. Move it. You don't have to go to the store if you don't want to and buy potting mix. And that's what I'm doing. I'm moving it over here. I'm going to put it in my towers. I'm just starting to fill these up, see? And I'm going to use it, and then I'll top it with uh, probably some wood chips or whatever on the top after I plant, you know, like to put the strawberries. These are my old strawberry plants, but you know, they're making a comeback. So I'm going to just put some mulch on top. I use wood chips. You can use whatever you want or nothing, whatever you want to do. And I am moving it out of here to use it because it all the kitchen scraps, everything that was in here, all the leaves, are pretty much all gone. If you wanted to and you wanted to start seedlings with this, strain it. Get yourself some screen, uh, not too fine, but just some screen, and strain it. And you could use it for starting new plants. I mean, the soil is perfect. But I'm going to get most, not all of it, just a little bit out. I'm going to fill my tower, going to get the plants going in there, and then I'm going to start over. See, when you put your kitchen scraps in there and your leaves and Yes, uh, toilet paper rolls and all that, it actually drops down because it breaks down, the plants grow, and it will drop down. So you can just come back if you cleaned it all out. And you can just add another layer to it, you know, start dumping more kitchen scrubs right on top. But it's pretty much all gone, so I'm moving, you know, it's all, everything broke down. I'm going to move a lot of it out until I don't need any more. I'm just going to finish up my tower. And then I've already got buckets of kitchen scraps getting ready to be dumped. I brought a bucket from over there. See, it's got stuff in it. And that's what it was. I came out here to dump it in here and I thought, no, I'm not going to dump it. I'm going to use some of the soil, the great soil here, and then I'll put it on top. So I hope I've answered that question. You do whatever you want with it. It takes about a year. 
once the plants grow, everything breaks down. I don't even see any worms in here. It's almost as if they moved down. They're probably on the bottom. They're probably hiding on the bottom because it's drier on top because I've been removing and cleaning. So yes, you can move it. You can start building right on top again for the new season. If you've removed the plants, you could do whatever you want with it, but it all breaks down. It all disappears. And even the eggshells, there's no eggshells. I mean, here maybe is one. Let me see if we can see. Look at that. That's the only eggshell. And I don't even break my eggshell. See, it's gone. That's the only eggshell. Look at that. That's the only eggshell left in here. So all the eggshells are gone. So I wanted to share that with you today. I hope it, you know, answers some questions. It, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. You, you could just keep using it. And then I'm going to build on top. So I'm getting ready to clean up my garden a little bit. I've got some powdery mildew around because the weather's been, you know, damp. And so it grows it. And that's, I don't pull them off right away because I'm going to use it for composting. And I'll put a layer of that. And kitchen scraps. And I'll throw wood chips on top or something and let it break down. And I'm going to start planting in this right away. So with that, I hope it helps. I hope it answers some questions. And I'm going back to work since I have no electricity today. Have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.